welcome to the Irish in the UK. Now, Carol and Barney Clerken recently celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. They're both heavily involved with the Irish community in the Wirral and Birkenhead area of Liverpool. It was a wonderful occasion. All the family and many of their friends turned out to make a great celebration. And we were there too. But first up this week, we're coming to you from Cross Malina in County Mayo. Mary and Pat Mulhern recently purchased the Dolphin Hotel in Cross Malina. They've done a wonderful job refurbishing the bar area, the restaurant, the function room and their brand new accommodation. And we went along to meet them. But before that, we're going to show you some of the beautiful scenery from around the area of Cross Malina. This old man and me. Pat, you're a native of this area. That's right, Merton, yeah. Probably six or seven miles up the road, just past Lahordan. Now, you immigrated from here many years ago. Yeah, many years ago, 1973. Went to Manchester in 1973. And you run a very successful construction business in Manchester for many years. Yeah, we did for many years. Uh, the sons are more or less taking it over now. I'm back and forth nearly all the time. Now, of course, the number one question is, why did you buy the Dolphin in Cross Malina and County Mayo? Well, being that I'm a native from here and there is no hotel here for years, and the nearest one is probably Bellana or Castlebar or um, Belmullet. So I thought about this place and I thought about doing it up. Now, Mary, of course, you've put in an enormous amount of work here. Tell me a little bit about what you've done since you've become the owners of the Dolphin. Well, we've refurbished the 10 bedrooms upstairs, Martin, um, and we have done a lot of work here in the bar and the restaurant. Of course, we've got the function hall as well then, which we are doing a lot of work on that as well. The restaurant is doing very well. We've got some very good chefs, um, great feedback coming back. The meals are very good and people are very happy with it and we hope to continue that service. Now, you're hoping to cater, of course, for lots of different events here. Tell me about that. We do weddings and anniversary parties, birthday parties, any special occasions we'll cater for the people. Hopefully at the weekends we'll be having some bands in and any children's parties, anything like that, just contact us. Of course the Dolphin is ideally placed here in Cross Malina. It is Merton, yeah. The nearest hotel is Ballina, Belmullet or Castlebar. So this is a big area and there is no hotel in it, so it definitely needs a hotel around here. Definitely. Now tell me a little bit about your accommodation that you've got here as well, Mary. Well, we have four family rooms. Um, all rooms have en suites and the rest are all double rooms. And anybody that wants to come and stay, they just contact the hotel, Facebook, or Twitter, and just the number on the bottom of the screen. And anybody that comes early or anything, there's going to be space for their cases in the reception area. They can have tea and coffee or they can tour the town and have a look around. Of course there's a lot of Mio people and West of Ireland people overseas and in the UK as well so I'm sure you get a lot of visitors here in Cross Malina. Yeah Martin definitely yeah because there is no hotel with Bellana, Belmullet and everybody has to pass back here when they're going to Belmullet so there is a lot of people passing here yeah. Now I know that the natives around here around Cross Malina are delighted of course that the hotel is up and running uh, because you're bringing in new business and new people to the town as well. We are Martin, yes, and as Pat has said, um, Cross Malina needs the hotel very badly. Lots of people coming from Knock Airport, going to Knock Airport is a convenient place to stop for lunch or even if they want to stay in one of the rooms. 
Well, listen, Mary and Pat, we wish you the very best of luck with it, and I'm sure it'll be a great, great success. Mayo will always be home, no matter wherever I roam. Although we're divided by land and by sea, Mayo will always be home. Morgan, you used to manage the dolphin, didn't you? Yeah, we've been here for the last three and a half years. Um, bringing on the, the restaurant, bringing it forward forward because it was closed for a few years before we came along and trying to develop the restaurant and, and the bar, trade back to where it was um, a few years ago. And of course yourself and Veronica here, you're going to continue on to manage it now for Mary and Pat. Yep, going to go on and hopefully bring it back to where it was back in the 80s where it was a, the main spot for, in the whole area and bringing the functions and, and the restaurant up to a, a high class. Now, Veronica, tell me a little bit about your restaurant, because so many people have said to me the food is excellent here, but what do you provide? We provide we have breakfast served from 9am to 12pm every day, seven days a week. We have lunch then from 12 to 3, um, and we also have our evening food then from 3 to 9. Selection of locally sourced food, we use all fresh ingredients, everything is cooked to order, very fresh, we have homemade scones, we have set menus as well also for any groups that are coming in. We pride ourselves on our food, we've worked so hard to get the food up to a really good standard because there's so many places to eat in Ballina that it's nice to get people out this side on their way to Belmullet or travelling along to stop and get some really good quality food. There's always a smile behind the bar. Our staff are really friendly, they're all local girls and lads and you know they know a lot, you know they're fabulous. And of course you've got a big function room here as well Morgan. Yeah we have a very big function room, we can cater for, for groups or parties up to 250 people and we can do a menu to suit them to what they want, to their, whatever their price they, they can afford to pay. Um, we've done a few weddings so far and we're hopefully to do a few more and build the wedding trade up a bit more than it was, as it was in the past. So Veronica, how can people book you for your weddings, anniversaries and all sorts of functions? Well, we have our email address at dolphinhotelmayo at gmail.com. They can contact us on Facebook or our phone number is 096 31640. Mayo will always be home, no matter wherever I roam. Although we're divided by land and by sea, Mayo will always be home. Catherine, can you tell me a little bit about your involvement here? Uh, I'm the interior designer in this job. Um, I met Pat uh, a good few months back and we started with the outside. Uh, started with a smaller job, just changing the windows, but it became a much bigger job. And we gave a facelift to the front. Um, we changed the lighting, we changed the colour schemes, we insulated and replastered the outside. So gave it a complete, fresh, modern look to the front. You've done a lot of structural work as well, I believe. We did. We had to do a lot of work inside here, work that wasn't seen. There was a lot of steel to be put in and walls to be moved and stuff like that and replastering and all around the windows uh, redone. So, yeah, there was quite a lot of work. And then we did bulkhead lighting all around the three sections of the bar, new light fittings, um, toilets. The ladies' toilets are done now. Um, we have to start on the gents next. And we have a reception area started but not finished yet. So we're getting through it. And the bar and restaurant's got a lovely feel to it now and the furniture's really classy. It's very cosy, do you know what I mean? It's a very relaxing place, day or night, you know, it's kind of a nice feel. And again, lighting is so important that whether you're in in the day or the night, you can function with good lighting, do you know? Um, the bar stayed in the same place, so there hasn't been an awful lot to be done with the bar, um, except lighting again. Um, so it really was flooring, um, walls, structural work, and the light fittings itself, you know. Um, other than that, it was quite good. And I believe you're involved with the development as well, and the design of the bedrooms. The whole upstairs had to be restructured completely. Um, all the bedroom sizes are changed, and everything up there is new new plaster and new, new sizes and bedrooms. We have family rooms, we have smaller rooms, so it'll be catered for everybody. Well, it looks very appealing from the outside now, but when you come along and looked at this building some months ago, where do you get your ideas from? Because, you know, you look at a thing and you think, well, what can I do with this? It's funny, lots of people ask me that, and sometimes it's just when you see something, you just get an image of what you think it could be. Do you know what I mean? And from the outside, uh, along a town, along a street like this, 
I just thought you need something to catch the eye, catch the customer as they're going by. Yeah. Um, it's very easy to have a place that would have bright colours and a lot of the time towns do that, but sometimes it can look tacky. It's nearly better to look classy, try and get them in, invite them to the place and when you have good food, good drink, they won't go within, they'll stay put. So it's a matter of attracting them in the first place. Um, and I think it was a big enough building to give it a modern look rather than dragging it down with a more old-fashioned, traditional look. Well, you've done a wonderful job, Catherine. Well done. Thank you very much. The barman's calling. Time, gentlemen, please. At a dark corner table, he seemed ill at ease. His face told the story his eyes would betray. He said, friend, are you going my way? An old faded picture he kept in his coat It came with a letter that his mother wrote Taken at Easter 1963 You may be thinking about going for a lovely meal Perhaps you're planning a celebration You might be thinking of visiting Knox Shrine or even climbing Crow Patrick or perhaps taking in the beautiful views of the lovely County Mayo Well if so why not try the Dolphin Hotel, Mulhern's Bar and Restaurant in Crossmalina? I think you'll like it. And a big thank you to Jerry Guthrie. Wasn't that a fantastic song? Well done, Jerry, and thanks for all your support. Now it's time for us to take a little break. Welcome back. Now, Carol and Barney Clerken recently celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. They do wonderful work for the Irish community in Wirral and Birkenhead area of Liverpool. All the family and friends were there, and we went along too. club called St Mayberg's Club and it's a, a church club uh, in Birkenhead. I thought it was wonderful but he never noticed me the first time I went. It was the second time and he asked me for a dance and he asked to take me home which I let him. <laughs> and the rest, the rest is history. Well done, well done. <laughs> now uh, Carol of course you've been heavily involved down the years here in the Irish community as well and you've done so much here and Barney's a big supporter with you as well. He certainly is, he comes every Wednesday with us and we used to do a lot of dances for people uh, if we needed to run dances I and mean, Barney did a lot of them with me as well. Now you had quite a unique job didn't you? I did, I was a lifeguard. Yeah. I was Pamela Anderson the first. It's a job I absolutely adored, but I sadly had to give it up when I got a bad back and I was in bed for nearly two years. Now, you've got three lovely children, of course. Tell me about them. Certainly have. I've got Bernard, who was, uh, he worked for the American ambassador. He's a he was a butler. And I've got Michael, and he's got our only granddaughter, Freya. And then we've got Marie, our only daughter, and she came six and a half years after the boys. And where do you come from, Barney? Uh, Rosley, County for Manor, a little village not far from Inniskillen, where I was born and reared. I left there when I was 15 and a half, and I come straight to Birkenhead. So, Barney, how long were you here when you met Carol? Uh, about two, two and a half years, yeah. About 17 and a half, uh, 17, I think I was, and I met her, yeah. So you were a pretty fast mover. Oh, well, you could say that, yeah. You could say that, yeah. yeah. And you've, of course you've worked for all the big companies around Birkenhead and around Liverpool down your lifetime. Yeah, I did, yeah, Murphy's and 
Daniels and all them, Kilrow and all them, Lone McAlpines and all the whole lot of them. I spent many years with them. I was a foreman for nearly 27 years over the years. And life has come to an end now. I'm retired. And You're enjoying life now, Barney. I don't know. I don't know what I'm enjoying. I don't know. I'm still here anyway. Yeah. Now, Carol, of course, yourself and Barney here does wonderful work in supporting and promoting Nathan Carter. We certainly do. We've just been over in Ireland and done three of the um, festivals over there. Nathan Carter play at our Ruby Wedding, yeah. but uh, we've just got the cutout and all his songs with us this time. Grandad and his aunties here and his uh, uncle. And you were telling me earlier on that one of the priests from the church is here as well. Yes, um, Father Ray Burke, he's from uh, Donegal and absolutely he loves the Irish and Sister Harmon that comes on a Wednesday was here as well so it was very nice. And how do you like the travelling Barney? Oh well I'm, I'm, the travelling's not too bad but the flying is bad news for me I hate flying. <laughs> and Barney we saw you out there on the floor earlier on having a lovely dance with your wife it was like the first time. <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> my old knees is gone I don't think it was like the first time but I try my best anyway. Yeah. I think you're only telling us that there's a bit of mileage left in them knees yet. Oh, I don't know about that. It's, I'm struggling now to stand up here, to be quite honest with you. Me two <laughs> knees. Yeah. Now, Carol, you two have been married 50 years. Of course, many congratulations. You've got a wonderful celebration here tonight. Thank you. All our friends and family, uh, the family of the people that introduced us that are here. Sadly, they've passed away, so they're here. We've got a couple of his godchildren here. Uh, so absolutely wonderful people have come there's a girl from Brazil here there's a girl from Croatia uh, all different countries Switzerland his cousin's daughter from Switzerland has come so they've come from far and near well look at many congratulations to you both it's lovely to be here tonight and listen well done to you both for the great work that you do here for the Irish community so many years of keeping it going here in Birkenhead well done to you both she's handsome she's pretty she's the best Marie, what a celebration here for your mum and dad tonight. It's their 50th wedding anniversary, so I'm very proud. It's been so important to us tonight because we've seen like friends we haven't seen for like 20 odd years. Mum and dad have always been part of the Irish community here on the Wirral. And our cousins come over from like Switzerland. We've had friends come over from Ireland that we grew up with that were like family, aunties and uncles. And it's just been so important to us all, hasn't it? That seeing them people we haven't seen for years and just remembering your childhood and being happy for the Irish community we were brought up here on the Wirral. It's just been amazing and just really lovely night to be part of that again. And Bernard, of course, you're a great supporter of your mum and dad as well. Um, come down there and help out where we can and sort of do odds and ends. But most of it's done at home, rolling up raffle tickets and things like that that mum does for the various charities that they're doing. Um, and sometimes wrapping hampers at Christmas, you know, so yeah. it's all the extra bits that are added. Well, all you guys does wonderful work here for the community in Birkenhead and it's a credit to you all. Thank you. Well, it's all good fun. I mean, you love supporting your community and it's great to support the Irish community, which is quite small in this area yeah. and lost out because of the Irish centre closing several years ago in Liverpool. And this is one of the offshoots of it. So, you know, it's growing. Uh, you know, the club's getting so big that the membership list is being added to, which um, in most cases is amazing. And Michael, you're quite a close family, aren't you? You know, you all seem to support each other and work alongside. Yeah, we've been a close family. Uh, it's down to mum and dad, they've always instilled that into us to be a close family and you know we're proud to be a, a proud Irish family. Your dad comes from County Fermanagh of course, have you been over there? Yes, uh, quite a few times and we absolutely love it. We love going to Rossley which is the village that my dad comes from and it, we, we loved it. It's, it's a second home to us, it really is, it's a fantastic place. Now Marie, uh, we saw everybody enjoying the food there and that's your mum isn't it? She yeah. does uh, loads and loads of food for different organisations and different people here but she's done the food for her own party tonight as well. She did, she wanted to do her own food because that's just Carol <laughs> and um, she's just 
she made sure that everyone was overcated so we can't couldn't ask for anything better is there a message you'd like to send to your mum and dad tonight yeah uh, i'm so proud to have parents celebrating 50 years it doesn't happen this well era that you do and i love you both so much yeah we all love mum and dad and wish you all the best yeah love mum and dad and couldn't be prouder to be here it's amazing the first time i held you i someday we will Saturday morning in church, I'll give you away. Happy to you in my eyes, I can hide on your wedding day. Free, of course, you're very special to Carol and Barna. Yeah, I'm the only grandchild, so I'm kind of very spoiled in the family. They love me to bits, and I really, it shows, it definitely shows, yeah. I bet Barn is a dead softy, is he? Oh, yeah, he's well soft. Yeah, he's proper softy. I love him for it as well. Yeah. And of course, I'm sure it must be special for you when you were growing up to be able to stay with them and stay at their house and have sleepovers and, and different things like this. Yeah, they always invited me over to sleepover because it it's not in Grandad, you know, and they're really fun to be around. Have you got some of your friends here with you tonight? I've got um, my dad's friends. I haven't been out to a family gathering for a while, and it's great to see everyone here, you know, all the family and everyone. Yeah. Now, um, Barney and Cal have been so special to you and so good to you down the years. Would you like to send a little message uh, to them tonight on their 50th anniversary? Yeah, um, I'm really happy that they've gotten to this stage and I love them to bits and I wish them the best. Hi guys, Nathan here dropping by to say huge congratulations to Carol and Barney on 50 years married. Carol, you're an absolute star. I don't know how you've managed 50 years with Barney, but congratulations uh, and here's to many more happy years being married together. See you soon. Barney's not very good at speeches. He only made one speech on our wedding day and he said he'd love me forever. And we've, we've lasted 50 years, and the only reason we've lasted 50 years is one of us wouldn't give in. <laughs> and that was Barney. <laughs> we've reared three nice children and one granddaughter. And as I say, we're only a small family, but as I say, I'm a, I come from a very big family of 10 children, and Barney comes from a family of three. But as I say, uh, we want to remember all the people that are not here, uh, the people who introduced us, which was Martin McKenna's, Mum and Dad, uh, Mary and Owen, uh, they come from a little, uh, from Nockertallon, uh, just over the border from Rossley, and uh, they introduced us in St. Mayerbergs, and uh, the rest is history. We're still here, and we're still going strong, so thank you very much for coming. What a wonderful occasion for Carol and Barney, and of course we wish them the very best of luck in the future. Now that brings us to the end of the show for this week. Henry McGlade is back with his show next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock and we are here with the Irish in the UK at 7.30. Until then, take care and thank you for watching.